just wanted to talk really quickly about the half-life reaction for second order reactions and here the idea of half-life is exactly the same as we were talking about for the half-life um, equation for first order reactions so we're talking about how much time does it take for half of our reactant to disappear so in this case I'm, I'm just going to mention it very very quickly that um, I really have not seen this equation used quite a bit typically when we talk about half-lives we're talking about radioactive decay so we use the first order uh, half-life equation but this is valid that you can do this so if you take the second order integrated rate law equation and plug in the idea that at some time at the t1 half the concentration of your final concentration is going to be one half of the initial concentration if you plug that in there and do some some algebra you get this half-life equation for second order reactions and the big difference between the two is that the uh, half-life is actually dependent on the initial concentration of the reactant so that wasn't true for first order reactions the initial concentration didn't show up so when we look at a question here um, I say what's the half-life for a given reaction um, you know same thing I need to tell you somehow it's second order and I, give, I need to give you the initial concentration because that has an effect on the half-life here so when you plug these numbers in remember half-life is the time so whatever your unit of time is on K is going to be in seconds um, the other thing is, is uh, typically when I've seen half-life equations used on exams um, what they have you do is they give you T one half and then they want you to calculate K and then you use K inside of the second order integrated rate law equation to find your answer remember with half-lives it's only good if you do this divided by two step so after 20 seconds I would have 0 0.05 molar that's what the half-life means and after 40 seconds it would be halved again and after 60 seconds it would be halved again if it's not doing that you really want to use the integrated rate law equation